All right, let's go. I missed three ice beam shots in a row that I should not have missed, and that killed the run. <sighs> All right. Well, no activity. Let's go. I don't want to keep race heading over this game though. It's already almost noon. All right. Bummer that I lose a run an hour in, but that's area three for you. My face is outright red for embarrassment. That should never happen. It's still very red, actually. Alright. Let's keep going. Ah, I missed the missile, didn't I? I don't know. Intro doesn't really matter that much, really. It's not that big of a deal. Because you can have, like, a new game file prepared, like, in Super Infusion, but, like, unlike Super Infusion, the intro doesn't take, like, more than 10 seconds or whatever, so it's whatever. I don't really care either way, really, personally. If you really wanted to, we could, like, start RTA timing at, like... Hold on. Okay, that should be good. Good. Um, you can start RTA timing from like the moment you regain control, technically speaking. And then that would solve that, that issue, so it wouldn't really matter. So I think that's kind of an intro, intro, intro scene point. I mean, to me, like the re only reason is that it feels like it feels like proper that you're starting from the actual new game from the file select, and it's not that big of a video to do so otherwise. But I don't feel strongly about it. I do think something like maybe starting timing from control of Samus, which actually, now that I think about it, makes more sense than what we do now. I think that would actually make more sense as a st starting time method. Just start from control there. So in that case, it doesn't matter whether you start from new game or from a com new game-ish file. Now I think about it, that actually feels like a better timing method, but it's, again, not really a big deal. I'm not going to raise a ride over it. At least it's not Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> One second. <laughs> I've got to get more water. I'll live. That's why you want to kill that bat immediately. I think it's worth killing it immediately, just so it doesn't screw you over like that. Uh, that's awkward. Okay, that works out. That can happen sometimes, where the top the top purple blob is on the ceiling and going right instead of left. But if, if you're fast enough, and you get bopped by the ceiling purple enemy, 
you'll still, you'll just get bopped to the left without getting knocked out of the ledge, and you're still fine. Yeah, that wasn't a very good surface, but whatever, we'll roll with it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Sloppy. I got a message. Um... Ooh. See, this, this is how I spend my time during an elevator cutscenes. I either check Twitter or I message, message someone that I got a match on on dating apps. <laughs> LOL. Okay, that worked out. I want to jump high, but high right there because you want to manipulate the bat into attacking you high. Don't jump high enough, they'll just go lower and then bop you. Probably. Oh, uh, this is actually not good. Don't notice me, Senpai. Okay, I was fast enough, so that worked out. Uh, I've, I've never done that before. I was scared of bopping my head on the ceiling there, but it's never actually happened. I just came that I came up with that strat just now. I just I was just like, wait a second. Wait a second, I'm, I typically don't jump high enough to avoid the first dumb bat. Maybe I can wall jump over it, and it worked. Maybe I should mess with that a bit more. I mean, technically speaking, it would be a bit slower than just jumping over it without the wall. But jumping over it without the wall is, like, unreliable. So maybe I should just wall jump instead. Just wall jump over it. Now I think about it, that sounds like a good idea to do from now on. I'll have to look into it a bit more. Cheat pulse. Ooh, nice block there. Thanks, see, Scotty. Unfortunately, the run died to the the low fire gamma in area three, but after a few minutes of getting some negativity out of my mind, I'm back at another run. Had to recollect myself for a minute there. I've been a lot worse about like my ne negative mentality recently, so I'm trying to work on that, and I'm be definitely better now already. So that's a good thing, I guess. The first bat in the room, pillars you shout. Yes. Oh, you wall jump over too. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Wall jumping over it seems consistent. All right, let's see if we can actually do this for once. Like, I can do it in practice, and then, and then I just don't unmorph anymore. Maybe I'm just not pressing vertically enough for that unmorph extend. Because if I'm, I'm not... Because, like, I know, like, if you can't unmorph, but your head's close to a ceiling, because it's because you're close to a ceiling, but I was nowhere near the ceiling there. So I just probably wasn't pressing up enough to buffer an unmorph. You want to press diagonally to unmorph extend. You do, I, do, I do a tiny little jump extend there to make it cleanly over the ledge there. Jump extends are still in this game, similar to Fusion and Zero Mission. They're just barely, like, they just don't give you that much, to any, like, barely any distance. So the only real use for jump extends is to, like, if you need to jump over a ledge, but you can barely make it without a jump extend, the jump extend makes it more reliable to do that. There's a few spots where that's nice. Um, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure which part of the ceiling I was on there. Okay. This alpha is always the same. It's always going to charge at you. It will always get stuck in the ceiling after you freeze it. And yeah, it's a pretty consistent fight. I wanted to ledge jump from there, because you can make it over to the top ledge from the ledge jump. Saves the frames. Oh, let's do it. Cheat pulls. Hype! Ah, 
Got the block, nice. The Godfall! See, that's what happens if you land on the tip of a ledge. You loot, damage staggers, again, right there. And you have no control over it for that brief moment. It really sucks when that happens. Case in points. Well, that sucked. Terrible fight. Very low on missiles because I whipped so many. Uh, good handful of missile drops, though. 17 is workable. As long as I don't whiff a bazillion the next one. I would have preferred a missile drop. Although I, I would although I do kind of need health anyway, so I think to go to the heater room. So that might that's a bit too low. Barely made it. Alright. 21 missiles. Cancel it, or not. I fat fingered a melee button on accident. Uh, 14 missiles, that's fine. 14 missiles is just enough for the last alpha, and even if I miss a few, I'm, it's not a big deal. Sick. Sex. Got it! Yeah, this is enough. Okay. Fantastic fight. Three out of four alphas are really good. One of them was really bad. All in all, not too bad. Okay. Ah. Oh, nice block there. Thinking emoji. Nice block there. I always stop to shoot that guy because um, it's really annoying to try to shoot the toad while running on the downhill slope. I like almost always miss it. So. See right there, I did another jump extend right there. Cause like it's really, really tight to try to clean the, get completely jump over the lower ledge without a jump extend, but with a jump extend it makes it more reliable. To do it cleanly. So. <laughs> good. That was good. I don't do the unmorph extend here yet. I'm not good at. I'm not comfortable with it. After the DNA thing, you can shoot diagonally up at the crab as it jumps in the air and diagonally down at the frog. I know you can aim diagonally down, I'm bad at it. But the crab thingy, I did not know you can shoot diagonally up for that. That's interesting to know. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Plus six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Actually, two more. But Still a good fight. I didn't want to counter because it was so close to dead anyways. So doing pretty good on health. Missiles those could be better, but Ooh, first try.
Junior Frog, if we go to the same speed. I'll mess with it. I'll mess with it in my own time, but thanks for the tip. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Oh yeah, you, 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 you'll you be right about that, because the frog will be farther left if I go at the same speed, if I kill the crab. Per perfectly without stopping, if that makes any sense. Is that what you mean? But yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why I was trying to go for drops when I'm completely full on both health and missiles. So what's going on? It's just super confused because you saw this before. Yeah, I reset. I fail. I failed. I died to a Gamma Metroid in Area Three, unfortunately. They're all going the opposite direction this time too. What happened? How? I'm so confused why that happens. Why? Like I've never seen it happen until today's. Did the game, I game patch itself or something. And all the enemies were going to opposite direction. All the purple enemies were going to different opposite direction than usual. I don't know why. I'm so confused. Is it because I froze the first purple enemy right when I took the elevator? Because that's the only different thing I, I could think of. Now that I think about it, the bat wasn't farther left than usual ever since I started doing that too. So I might have to look into that a bit more. That's probably it, which is going to be weird. Make that. Yep. The game is not optimized at all, period. Oh, that's bad. I, I whipped a lot of missiles there. There we go. Okay. Like, my PB slash world record has a over one minute mistake in cleanup because I made a routing error. So, that, that should be a red flag on how optimized this game is, quote quotes. It's a very punishing game. Forty minutes. Forty nine missiles is a good, um, good amount. Oh, go down, please. Thirty-eight, technically. No one, no one really runs this category besides me. Well, Sinis Shelly has done a few, like one or two runs, but to be blunt, that person's time is over an hour slower than mine, so there can be a lot of improvements in this game in general. Uh, any percent. Active Runners, Shasta, although he's been playing other games at the moment. Juice has been doing 0% fusion. I don't know how active Juice has been recently. This game is not as active as you'd think with respect to like Active Runners. I suppose part, a big part of it is because it's a 3DS game, which kind of sucks, but that's just life. Soon TM. Not doing so hot on health. Okay, 84 is better. I want to be at full health soon, because there's a swarm coming up, and I want to get be at full health when I kill them, because that'll give me only missile drops, and that means I can skip a refill. So hopefully this bat coming up here gives me a health drop. That's good. That helps. Uh, there, this game is not in HDQ. I'm not sure where you got that from. 
And I, in, in my opinion, no offense to Ben, but I really don't think this game really should be an HDQ in the first place. SGDQ would be cool, but not an HDQ. I mean, like, some people have the conception of, okay, the reason for a game not being rejected from a game because being too new is, is a bad reason. And in this case, I think it's a very good reason. For reference, this game came out the week of submissions, and the estimate was, um, 2 hours 40 minutes. The world record at the moment, in, in less than a week, the game has now stopped 2 hours. That is kind of a red flag, I think. Of <laughs> it being too early. Metroid 1 and Prime 3 are in GDQ, and those are, and I'm very happy for that, to be honest, because those are two games that have, like, very little GDQ representation, if any at all. And the respective runs have put a lot of time into those runs. So. It's, just, it's kind of, it's like, you don't. You, ch you probably checked the submissions list, not the actual game list. And then you probably thought it was a game list or something. Yeah, Prime 3 is going to be a very good watch. Prime 3 it was, used to be the kind of a joke speedrun, because it's it was a pretty stupid, terrible speedrun. But it's much better now. There's been a lot of tricks that have been known for a while, but not really viable for real time. But there's been a lot of new stuff found that makes it mar marathon viable. That at this point now is a good time for corruption to be ran at a marathon. If it was a year ago, I would say no. It's, it's, it's a terrible marathon launch. Why wasn't it viable before? Because all the, the interesting things and in that makes it interesting, most of the interesting things were not viable. Like no one's really finished a run with all the interesting things in it and stuff. And it's a game. It's like a three-hour run with a crap ton of loads. Like, a lot of loads. And that actually, that, that, it still has a lot of loads, but like... A lot of the new stuff that has been found recently makes it worth it for even just one marathon showing. Like, if it, Corruption wasn't popular, it, should, it will not belong in a GDQ, even as it is, in, in my opinion. But it's a Metroid Prime game. Metroid Prime is popular. And Corruption is very popular. So... It's people getting better. People as in Claris getting better. And also some new things being found as well, like ch such as ship grapple skip, things like that. Because it's basically both like people, get, people, aka Claris, getting better. Some new setups being found and alternatives, and a few new skips as well. Cor Corruption got a lot of things found for the past two years. So it's definitely worth a marathon show at this point. And NES Metroid hasn't been done since 2013, and Metroid McFly is ridiculously good at it. <laughs> I don't know. If you ask people now, they'll still tell you not to speedrun it, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, like, what memory said is correct. People didn't really put in the proper time to look for alternative and or practice the tricks that have been known for like almost a decade now or something. Not a decade, but a long time. That's a part of it. Though it's not everything, but it's a big part of it. I mean, like, if you want to run Corruption seriously, you have to be ready to actually put in a lot of time into it. Really. Like, if you just treat it as a speed, as, like, a pickup and go speed run, you can do that, but... But, like, you're getting rid of a lot of what makes it an interesting speed run, so... 
missile on accident, but whatever. Not like I need to care about missile management at this point. Oh. I agree, Super Metroid just really needs a break. And like, it was evidence after when they made it Friday instead of the last day in SGDQ that like, Super Metroid, it was not raising the money people thought it was. And Super Metroid is a fantastic speedrun, and I think it's, it's a great game. But it's not something, it's not the kind of game that really should be in every single GDQ, purely because of it as a speed game. It was only in every marathon because of animals, really. Now that people are realizing, oh, it's not that big of a deal as we thought, we thought it was. It's gone now for this marathon. Yeah, Echoes was ran by Claris um, at AJQ 2017. She did low percents, aka 6 percents, which is currently the lowest percentage you can beat the game at. Keep going the wrong direction. You're supposed to go right there. Oh well. Ah, oh, left Earl too early there. <sighs> okay. If Area 3 goes to hell, then that's probably it for the stream. I don't want to reset again an hour and a half into the stream. This makes me just too tired to do it again. This game is a very exhausting game to speedrun for me. Not running in 3D. Come on. 
This game, not gonna lie though, this game looks pretty gorgeous in 3D. Clean fall. Yeah, like this, this game is like if we're gonna play a video game, a 3DS game in 3D, this is one of the best games for that. Like this game is just fan, just freaking beautiful. Uh, the only other games I'd recommend, like constantly playing in 3D, would probably be the, the the Kirby titles because I think the Kirby titles do a good job of making use of the 3D as well. Off the top of my head. I actually never tried Dream Team in 3D. If I should. Or if I did, I don't remember it. Maybe I should give it another shot. I just realized. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to test that now. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't test that. I was wondering if I could wall jump to skip the ledge grab, but then there's a slope up there which blocks it. So, it's good. I gladly I didn't try to do that. Okay, it's up here. Yeah, that was a fast counter. Fast fight. I recognize it. Okay. It is storming outside. It, uh, it is going in right now. The storm is going in. If I start dropping frames and or my internet dies again, well, don't be surprised if that happens. Whee! Oh, too far away. Whee! Ah, come on, let's grab strats. I'm in Central Time Zone, yeah. I live in Wisconsin. Yeah, melee. They did they melee. They did a very good job with melee attacking in this game. I think it's not like. It's really useful, but it's not like ridiculously overpowered either. I mean, you can kind of argue it's overpowered because you, if you you get get a lot of attacks and if you counter an enemy attack, but not everything is counterable. Only like one attack per enemy for the most part, and you have to react to it appropriately as well. So they did a, like pretty much all the mechanics fit really well with this game in general. Better lose health than Aeon currently, to be honest. Well, actually, I don't know about that. I am very high on Aeon. Yeah, but I lost like 50 health, so maybe. Yeah, okay, it's fine now. Let go up diagonal.
Got it. Okay. Good fight. Counterless. Now that I think about it, I don't think like any Nintendo games ever really have configurable controls, to be honest. It's kind of stupid. I can't think of any Nintendo game that gives you configurable controls off the bat. Thanks for the drops, game. I, like, I legit just cannot. I mean, there are occasionally configuration options, like Pokemon, where you can do L equals A for menu, and that's like it, off the top of my head. And by configurable controls, I mean like actually remapping the buttons, not doing something that's already completely preset for you. If that makes any sense. Okay, New Super Mario Bros. is another is a decent example, but Super Metroid is a good example. Yeah, I agree with that. But Super Metroid has its own issues of just having way too many buttons in general, that like, where half of them don't really do anything meaningful. One morph extend for the win. And also, the fact that Super Metroid has completely configurable controls on a Super Nintendo game and no other Metroid, as far as I know, can lets you do that. It's kind of ridiculously stupid, IMO. Okay, sm okay, Smash is a good example. Smash also lets you do a full remap. Smash is good, in that respect. Ah. I'm trying to go for a egg hit. Go. Xenoblade does let you remap controls. I never played Xenoblade. I really should, because it looks really good. Does Kid Icarus Uprising let you re remap controls? I don't remember. Maybe it does. I remember there being a, being a lot of flexibility with it. Controls. Kid Icarus Uprising. I don't remember, though. Turn around. Thank you. And I will fall down because I love falling down. <laughs> well, I actually dodged both of them. What? I've never dodged both of them before. Wow, that's nice. Keep those drops. I mean, there are limitations with what what you can remap. Like, I mean, there's t touch like. You can't remap touchscreen controls. Like, that you, what are you gonna do about that? The most you can do is recalibration. Really, which kind of sucks. So there is a limitation to how like customizable you can make controls, unfortunately. But that sucks, and that's just life. I was supposed to kill that guy. Oops. Oh well. Left or right side of the touchscreen. That would be nice, I agree. That, that That is actually an interesting point for this game. Not want to touch you. Okay. Whatever. Actually, no. Give it an extra Aeon. Not comfortable with that. That helps. I 
slightly overkill, but I decided just to use missiles instead of Aeon. Because that was relatively low. Rather conserve Aeon. I could have gone for a counterless kill, but again, I wanted to conserve health for upcoming sections. I don't want to try to tank too much damage. So. Yeah, you, you, you can totally unmorph extend that. I need to practice that at some point, though. Word there. Hmm. I mean, I'm not comfortable with doing that yet, unless you can do it entirely up against the wall, because those are free. But I'll look at that at some point. And yeah, I didn't check the score much today, so... I'm probably not going to implement any... Yeah, as I said, I'm not going to implement on more extends until I'm more comfortable with them. I'm only going to do it if there's an easy wall to do it up against. Fire Gamma. Got it. I... I failed to react to that. That's bad. God damn it! There we go. That was a ter terrible. Ugh, I mean, I didn't die, which is fine, I guess, but man, that was atrocious. I, I just flat out missed the counter, so that was entirely on me. Okay, well, I missed the counter, which isn't on me, and then I got bad luck after that, so... Ugh, that sucks. That was actually pretty good. Ah, dang it. This is the biggest, this Gamma is the biggest run killer in the game. And finally got past it. Okay. The next major run killer is Area 4. Does how I manage my health and missiles and supers for the Zeta Metroid coming in Area 4. But for now, I'm good to go.
Oh uh, yeah, I'm not reading on a wall of text. I have no idea how relevant it is to anything. low on health, so I can't... Oh, that's the last Gamma I need to kill, so... I don't really need to worry about health anymore. It's the Alpha left. No, the message is not complete. Twitch cuts off your own message if it's too long. You don't see it on your end, but it does cut it off. Uh, this part's always kind of a mess. Yeah, the last thing in that message is Metroid Prime, and I, I'm not a fan of, I mean, unless there's like a meme going on, I'm not a fan of copy pasta, I mean, maps of copy pastas. That poor Alpha Metroid. That poor Alpha Metroid, tsk tsk. Hey Ram Chop. Single Magoo. Goo. The new strats pay off. The new strats fucking pay off. The freaking pay off. Oh man. Tisk tisk. Sad thing is, I'm probably not gonna stay ahead that, that far ahead because Area 7 in my PB is ridiculously good. So I will I almost always lose around 40 to 50 seconds in Area 7 every run I do. So I'm gonna lose most of that time in Area 7. Just because of how ridiculous my Area 7 was in my PB. Which is really unfortunate how how luck based it is. I mean, it's fun, but it just kind of sucks. It's like if you don't gain enough super drop, you probably just lost at least a half minute. It's like GG. I don't know what you're talking about at this point, Ryu, so like, I'd, like, just cut it out. I don't... It's hard for me to read massive copy... massive copy-paste like that, anyways. Okay. Phaser. Oh hey, Dark Spine Sonic just went live. Dang it. I wanna cut stream and watch him. 
one of my favorite streamers, but I'll keep going. No advertising other streams than someone else's channel, but what if it's my own channel? Yeah. I lost a lot of aim on there because I meant to kill that bat completely. That actually might be a bit of a problem. Okay, yeah, I'm way lower on aim than usual. I'll just kill everything here. I don't want to hit that. Look at that. Okay, that's better. Better. Not amazing, but better. Try to take it risky. Good. Got it. I did take it risky. It was a long counter. I would have countered if it gave me a fast counter. Fast bite. <clears throat> so that was good. I, that, I fire two missiles just to make sure, like, if I get a medium counter, I can still just finish it, the Gamma Metroid. I'm not sure if it's really worth it, though. Need to look into it a bit more. But two missiles makes it much more consistent to kill it without a counter. If you want a really good stream, you want to stream for all things on Curry, but go to twitch.tv slash Curry Master. Uh. <laughs> oh, Dwayne, never change. I meant to kill that bat, but whatever. We'll roll with it. <laughs> That's intentional. Okay, let's not forget the missile tank this time. <laughs> there we go. Didn't forget it this time. Yeah, like you're about to refill anyways. The, th the thing about those little robots is that you can't ta you can't go through them at all if you have lightning sh shield on, and it's th just squeezing by it is much less consistent if you aren't already going through iframes. So. Such as these jerks there, you just cannot go through them. Better off just killing them. JRP Oh My Magoo. Chat is filled with weaves. Not that I mind. Shaman! That's not enough Shaman, by the way. 
I'm not enough semen in my chat. There could be more semen. There can never be enough. You don't want to get global. And the thing is. The thing is about being global now is that like I believe global ban only lasts like 30 minutes now. So if you get global ban in this stream, you'll still be able to chat part of the way through the run. It used to be eight hours, which sucked. <laughs> uh, those were the days. Two text boxes. Actually, charge my beam. So I'm forgetting. Or I can lose half my amp and block the spikes. Yeah, I am officially the world Nintendo World Champion. Oh, baby. No, I think it's really funny to not be able to chat after so much spam. TBH. Well, the 8 hours does kind of suck, but usually it's worth it. Hey, Xenobs. He's gone! He's, the Kirby's gone from the spam! He has sacrificed his life for us! What's the spam? I know where it is. Got a super drop. That's actually very nice. Very nice, actually. The snipes! Oh my god, that's sick snipe! <laughs> that was a sick snipe. Only one super drop? Eh. That's not very good. But I am full on health, and doing pretty well in Aeon, so that's good. And a super drop, nice. So this is actually a pretty good position for me to be in. Now I'm full on supers, so that's good. I don't need to grind for Aeon or health. A lot more aggressively than usual. It's good. This this entire part of Area Four is really iffy because, like, generally speaking, you're really itching on super missiles and Aeon and health, and it's really hard to like manage that and try not to die. Use a crap ton of time. Well, there goes a super. Get one more Aeon to help compensate, hopefully. That sucks. Let's go. Three supers. Like this is workable. Oh, unless I miss, I missed the counter. That sucks. 
But it gave me another bite right after anyway, so. Should be almost dead here. Not a very good fight, but. Yeah, I knew it. I was like one shot away from killing it. If I got like even a single missile snipe into the mouth, that would have finished it. Oh well. So that that just kind of sucked, but oh well. Oh, I get all the super missiles. All right. Ah, whatever. You can break that block while standing on the button while waiting for the teleport path to go down, but it's pretty tight. Ugh. Man, this this game is so tiring to run. String ball strats. No, you will not bot me. Ha. Huh. You failed to bot me, jerk face. Um, I forgot to turn on beam burst, oops. Mine aren't really cramped per se. They used to get cramped, but I got a really nice new 3DS hand grip, which has been amazing. Like, it's, it's just been a lifesaver for me. Right, I did a diagonal upright shot there to open a door. So that's one of those doors you have to wait like a few seconds for it to open. So I'm best just do it now. So I don't have to wait later. Uh, I don't know about that memory. Okay. Will it charge or not? That Alpha Metroid just got slaughtered. Like, I feel so bad for this Alpha Metroid. It just gets completely wrecked. I legit feel bad for it. <laughs> but yeah, I will definitely be losing time here. Because the Zeta Metroid was just, ugh, terrible. But, you know, some fight, some, not every fight's gonna be good in a run. That's just how it is. It's a hard game. I forgot, you can just spring ball up there and it's a bit faster. Spring balling is almost always preferred over ledge grabbing into something. Assuming it's consistent, which in some cases spring balling isn't consistent. Am I gonna lose time? No, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna lose time. I'll probably be about even with the split. Alright! Alright. Alright then, I could save a lot more time in that split, but we'll roll with it.
Hey, my mic. Hey, my mic was muted. Cool. See, that Alpha Metroid fight sucked. <laughs> but I will be running Sacred Stones and Sonic Advance at HDQ. But a lot of you probably don't give a crap because it's not Metroid. Um, and I do a plan on offering this game for SGQ, so look forward to that. Oh, okay, phew, made it up there. Whew, close one. I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm still kind of salty about people going like, Oh my god, Kirby's back to Metroid, la la la, why don't you keep running Metroid? Which, I mean, like, yo, know, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd be lying if I said I sometimes don't watch someone because of a game they're streaming or something. But that's just life. Plus, the segments is complete, is completely bullshit and does not matter. Because this run is nowhere near optimized. Also, my summer best is like two hours for some reason. I don't know why. It shouldn't have to really. That just doesn't add up for some reason. I know, it's not like. <laughs> what happened to Fusion Stream? It's been about three or four years. Yeah, I have to practice both Iraqa route and FM routes for Secret Stones because it's going to be a bit war, just like an RPG limit break. There are, there are two different runs, so, and RNG manipulation, which is a lot to memorize. So I basically have to memorize around three hours of RNG manipulation for Fire Emblem. On top of that, Sonic Advance 3. That's relatively easy to de-rust. It's more, like more Secret Stones I'm kind of concerned about. But I've done, I, did that RPG, I was already for that RPG limit break, I should be fine for it. I should be fine for it in HDQ. I'll, I'll be prepared. Um, I did Irika's route at RPG limit break. That's correct. Um, I think Irika's. I, I prefer FM route for HDQ because FM route is kind of more broken, and Cormac is kind of the more popular character. And I, I, I feel like the more broken route is would be like a better fit for HDQ, whereas um, the route where Irika's route, where it's just more like more strat. Some more interesting strategies and more character diversity in Arika's route. That's kind of a better fit for RPG Limit Break. Because I feel like GDQ is kind of the marathon where like more brokenness is kind of a more cooler thing to watch. Not to say that there's no strategy in Ephraim route, nor a character variety, and Arika's route is also broken. But if I had to com make a comparison between them, that's what I would say. Give me that sick Aeon. Miss 
smash my Aeon there. Um, let's do this. Missed. Missed. See ya. And that is what he can do with Beam Burst and Plasma Beam and Phase Drift and Super Missiles. And Normal Missiles, technically. It's completely wrecked. It's, gr it's great. It's a great feeling. We feel a bit more on Aeon because I'm kind of low. Perfect fall. So yeah, I might, I've got some new some new stress for the Gamma Metroids, which has killed them a lot faster. You by combining Fate, Fate Drift, and it's just, it's just way faster now, which is nice. Supers. Okay. Is that a Metroid coming up? Full Aeon, which is good. Uh, okay. I'd just keep not be 3 guys only. What would you rather be on? I mean, it would be nice for this game to be on Switch, but I would assume... I would assume this game's development started before, like, the Switch was really a thing, so that's just life. Oops. Okay, got all two, two supers in. Good enough. A counter would have, a bite would have been ideal, but I still did fine for what I could have, for what I was given. So. I don't have three. I mean, like to be honest, now is the time to get a 3DS. Anyways, the 3DS has a fantastic library. Like, if you don't have a 3DS right now, what are you doing? If you, if you wait significantly longer for a 3DS, it's gonna, it's gonna be a dead console, so... Good. Yeah, it would be kinda silly to try to optimize this game for other systems that aren't well built for it and so on. Good, good gamma fight. I remember to conserve a bit of Aeon for that missile tank too, so that's good. And yes, I agree. The DS also has an amazing library. Like you really should get a 3DS at this point. Nintendo will likely be transitioning everything over to um, what is it? Switch, anyways. Like here's the thing, when a system is like, is like near the end of its life cycle, I, I don't I get kind of annoyed and people are like, why don't why don't they just make a game for the system I have? Why do I have to just move on to a different console? I mean, because that's a business decision. Like, duh, they're not gonna stick to the same console forever. That's just incredibly stupid. So, you don't need a capture card to play this game. I don't know. You don't. Most people who play this game don't have a capture card. Okay, got an extra super. Okay. Got two supers and should be dead soon. Damage intentionally.
Okay, sorry, but the, the initial thing you said was, I, I wish this wasn't on a 3DS because I can't play on 3DS. You didn't say anything about speedrunning it, so you just completely changed the logic there. Because speedrunning is a different story, but you didn't mention anything about speedrunning it. You just said, I just want to play it, so I wish it wasn't on a 3DS. You can use NTR, but there are issues with that. And yes, it does require a new 3DS to do, use NTR. Getting my equipment there. That's a lot of text for me to read. I apologize. I'm not going to really be able to read that. All of that. The only thing I'm really going to can really say is I really recommend getting a 3DS. At this point, it's a good time to get it. You should be able to get one for relatively cheap, anyways. But I can't read a message that long, to be honest. I apologize. I'm sure, you have some good things to say. Okay. This way, and... <sighs> okay. Okay, I read your other message. I agree, like, a lot of new games on the 3DS push the system quite really far. I don't know how this game runs on a normal 3DS. Apparently this game runs pretty, fa pretty well on a normal 3DS, but... But yeah, like, a lot of new games have, like, been kind of eh. Like, even on a new 3DS, the frame rates on some games, aka Pokemon, ahem, <laughs> hey Pikmin, ahem, <laughs> just been kind of eh. More missiles. Put that. That's right. Ah, a little too late, I think, otherwise I would have gotten it. Ready? See ya! Good. That is the last Gamma Metro you'll see in the run. And it got its butt kicked. That sucks. Ah, that's right. 
Halfway done. I'm only halfway done with the run. Ugh. Ugh. This game is tiring to speedrun. I'll have to step it up soon. Area 6 is coming up, which is one of my least favorite areas. But it's also a difficult one at the same time. That's a lot of bits. <laughs> Thank you, Your Royal Freshness. This run's been going off pretty decently. It's not amazing, but it's it's been had a lot more good better goods than bads. So. All the gamma fights in this area were really solid. Can't complain. I go this way. I think it's easier and faster. Uh, there we go. That scared me for a second. Yeah, the portability of Switch. I, I never really cared too much about the portability of Switch when it was advertised, but after getting a Switch myself and then actually get, getting more active with my Fitbit steps, I now can say it is very much worth the portability. Like, holy crap, it's, it's amazing. I get so many steps in primarily from my Switch now. I'm doing really well on Aeon right now. I'm completely full. That's nice. Hey, Guni. Yeah, you, there's a micro SD. You can use a micro SD card in your Switch. I don't know about external hard drives. That was clean as fuck. That was really good. That was very good movements. Very happy with how that went. It wasn't perfect, but it was very solid. Skip the cutscene, please. Thank you. Supers, beam burst. Three scripts ready. Let's go. Last item match ready in the game. Got it. One freaking cycle. Let's go. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect pattern, perfect execution. That super miss missile while waiting for the bite mattered a lot right there. Cray freaking gasm. That's actually the first time I've ever gotten like one cycle, ever. I've never gone in a fight that fast before. Didn't even know it was possible. Oh, that was in the. Oh, oh, okay, that works. I meant to kill the first bat, but the second one works too, I guess. Um, beam burst, ready. I thought I, uh, I thought I would hit that bat enemy, but I guess not. Okay. 
Yeah, like, I mean, I believe you can only really get a one cycle if you, if it tries to bite you immediately. I do a short face rip turn to make sure I can get out of there before the bomb block respawns. You can make it out without a phase trip, but you might as well play it safe and not lose a second. It doesn't even cost that much anyways. Aeon. A tiny bit of phase drift. Okay, I'm turning off lightning armor because I do not care about my health right now. I'm gonna get a health refill soon. 90% I'm probably gonna get this energy tank to be honest. Like, because like if you don't get the energy tank, you're either you have, you're likely gonna have to burn a lot of Aeon to go through this area, and that hurts you a lot for the Omega Metroid fight. So like I think I'm I think I might as well just like not use any Aeon at all while going to the Omega Metroid in any percent. Just tank just tank all the vines and then get the energy tank. But I think it's I mean like never really timed it, but my gut instinct says like realistically speaking, getting a fifth energy tank for any percent is definitely worth it. Just because it gives you a lot more leeway with what you can do against Omega Metroids. But I haven't really ran any percent seriously yet, so we'll see. Also, this puzzle can go to hell. You mean, if you get this energy tank, you also get another missile tank. Which, I mean, missile tanks are kind of interesting. I feel like missile management is really important, like, up to Area 2. And you don't really have to give a crap about it until Area 7. Because, like, you really aren't going to have that, because you really need all the missiles you can get. 90% to my knowledge, but I haven't ran it enough to have a proper judgment call on that. I'll get to around to it eventually. Um, supers, ice, phase drift, let's go. Fuck you. I missed the super. I got bopped right somehow. This is not a good start at all. I lost more than half my health. I am not using burst beam. That was terrible. I just got bopped right. And that screwed everything up. That's, this is a very bad pattern, very bad execution. This is, cannot go any worse at all. Wow, that was the worst Omega fight I've ever had in a long time. I just lost like a half minute there, just from very, just being bad at the game. God damn it. Well, that sucked. That was pretty atrocious. Well, that's life. I need I need um, a little bit of Aeon. So I'm gonna kill a few Anakin enemies. That's more than enough. Best to play it safe. Yeah, the fights are really awesome. I just I just executed poorly. In that case. Okay. I w if I didn't get a health drop there and that Bane blew up, then I would have died. Okay, well... I'm gonna probably be even 
in Area 7. Because Area 7, I will always lose around 30 to 40 seconds, probably, because my PB's Omega fights were amazing, and I got perfect drop luck everywhere. So, like, there's, like, I'm gonna not, I'm probably not gonna be ahead after Area 7. That's how good my Area 7 was in my PB. From what I've seen. So, this run is not gonna be, this is likely not gonna get a 2 sub 240. Honestly. But, we'll see. It's not over until it's over. I thought I screw attack that bat, but I apparently didn't. Um, do I have? I'm, I'll go for it. Phew, okay. That's helpful. Good. Shoot there to make sure that turtle enemy goes down. Manipulate it. Okay, yeah, we're good. Did this attack first, so I'm not gonna tank the inhale attack. Laser. laser. The laser first doesn't matter unless he does a third attack. If the robot does a third attack, it's gonna be laser again, which is the worst possible pattern. So if it does a third attack, I will lose around at least 20 seconds to luck. And there is nothing I can do about it as far as I know. Ideally, it doesn't do a third attack at all. Oh, fuck you.
Guys, you can you can get get all the um bombs into the vacuum without spider. I've done it. I've done it before. I did it casual. Yeah, actually, it sucked. Hey, Orland. How's it going? <sighs> okay. I got and that bar bomb tank I got I got it through bomb jumping. In my in my casual playthrough. So I really want power bomb drops. Got none so far. I still got none so far. Okay. I still got none so far. Thanks, game. I mean, I, I don't strictly need extra power bomb drops, but I, it's very helpful to have some. It saves a lot of time. Because I need one power bomb. I need to conserve one power bomb for a power bomb block before the first Omega Metroid. My first power bomb will go to this spot right here to kill that enemy really quickly. So I do not want to lose all my Aeon. That's very bad. Drop. Drop. Nope. No drops there. No, okay, that's one drop. One drop. Use it here. This one saves a good chunk of time. It's being supers. Ready, go. I know you can use the power on the bullet with the chest plate, it's not worth it. Unless I have like five. Should be it. Yep. Good fight. Two power bombs, good. Two two is what I really want to have. I mean three or more is good, but two is like really important. To have very important. The first one I really want to use this for is right here. Kill these two enemies really quickly, otherwise I'll lose a lot of Aeon and health. The other big use for it is right here. I made a lot of Aeon, and there's a robot to the right that sucks your Aeon, so you really want to kill it with a power bomb. The alternative is Beam Burst, which you really don't want to use because it's very risky, and you need Aeon for this puzzle here. If I got um, if I got another power bomb, I can use this power bomb spark right here to skip this room. But I don't have an extra power bomb, unfortunately. Shout out to memory for that strat. And then now I get a refill. So I still want to get as many drops as I want. I'm gonna be using three power bombs in the next puzzle room coming up. If I, if I, um, usually the plasma and the spider, the spacer door coming up later will give me drops. Not all the time though. On. Continue. And in these blocks right here, I want the power bomb blew up, and I want to try to get through here as quickly as I can. Another power bomb. Oh uh, yeah, there's no real trick to go to Omega Metroid and why I killed it so fast. I just killed it fast. I didn't use any tricks really. I just killed it fast. I didn't do any swapping either. I used um, the supers. What I did was I tried normal ice beam shots between every super missile. The super missiles have a pretty big cooldown, so, so you have time to squeeze in like three or four uh, normal ice beam shots per super, which adds up. Okay. Get my 
Aeon Reflow just in time. You want to kill this bad power bomb drop? Uh, it's, it's not coming to me. It's probably gonna be gone. That's rip. That sucks. I should I should have gone a bit lower to get that dropped. It's worth it. I did not use any charge. Okay, I use charge me ice beam shots if I have time. But it doesn't add up to that much damage. It's just kind of inconvenience. Yeah, it's gone. Drops? Two drops. Nice. I decided not to use supers on the spiky enemies. It's just not worth it. Giving the potential strain on your super supers. So yeah, I'm full on power bomb. I got three drops, which is good. So I have a lot of extra power bombs to work with. And I don't need a power bomb here, but it's very, it's much faster than going out the intended way. Face rift. I have four power bombs, so I'm good with this. Especially since he gave me the crap pattern. Uh, yeah, I'll go for beam burst. Power bomb again. I don't have supers. Yeah, that is sick. That was a fantastic fight. I don't need too much Aeon. That that's a very good fight. Very happy with how that went. Got useful drops in the middle too. I'm I should normally use Beam Burst there, but I'm very low on Aeon. I'd rather conserve it for a phase rift coming up soon. Even if it's for a little bit. So. A charge Ice Beam does do a good chunk of damage. On a lot of enemies, Charge Ice does 120 damage, and Normal Missile does um, 100 damage. Give me drops. Okay, I got it. I have very bad super drop, super luck, but I have extra power bombs, which helps. I'm not gonna use this Aeon. Power bombs. I will use another one here. Take the hits. Good. That's fine, Noisem. I mean, no problem. That was. Pretty much a perfect fight, all things considered. Like, that was a fantastic fight. So, this area 7 was very good. It's not as good as my... It still isn't as good as my PB. But it was very good. Oh god, the memers are coming in. Did you know? Power bomb Blow up Omega Metroid's chest. Plates. Oh. Hmm. You tell me. I have a lot of health, too, which is very nice. Three power bombs? Goodness. No Aeon, but there's a refill right here. Oh, not yet. Supers, another power bomb here. Perfect. Equip, equip, equip. Base rift. Okay. That is a very good split. Losing only 4 seconds is fantastic. This was a ridiculously good Area 7. I'm happy about losing 4 seconds. That sounds weird, but a typical Area 7 means I lose around 30 to 40 seconds on that split. That is how good my PVs and this runs. Area 7 went. So yes, that, I'm very happy with how that split turned out. Um, I want phase rift. Okay. Reminder that a split being red doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad split. And a split being green doesn't necessarily mean it's a good split. This red split here is actually a pretty damn good split. To be honest.
Hey, I heard you like power bombs. So I heard you want to power bomb my power bomb. What about your power bombs? Want to power bomb my power bomb? I'll power bomb your power bombs. I'm just being silly. Okay. Turn that up. Beam burst ready. Normal missiles. Okay, I got my equipment set up before getting the Aeon tank. Quick menu management. Normal missiles. I'm gonna equip supers really quickly. Kill that jerk. Supers. Okay. I want to get out of there before the missile tank missile block respawns. That was very good. Very happy with how that went. Very good movement all around. Okay. Whew. This is a pretty decent run, not gonna lie. Left side. Left side again. Good, I remember. Drop. Good, I need it. And he presents around one hour, fifty minutes, I think. So both 100% and 80% are not really optimized. I mean, this game isn't really optimized, period. There could be a lot more to prove. Um, unless something changed, Shasta is the current record holder for 80% 151. Okay. Yep, the game is very new. Yeah, the nerd named Shasta in my chat. He's a cool guy. That was very clean movements. Very happy with that. Seven? When did 147 happen? Must be missing something then. Full Aeon is nice to have.
sloppy. <laughs> this is going really well, but that sloppiness just happened. But, oh well. That's one of my favorite spiders parts there. Awesome. Oh god, I've never done that before. I never finished it off in that attack before. Holy god. That was amazing. I've never done that before. That was sick. Just as it's closing its mouth. Come on, what can I do? Well! That was, um, the fastest fight I've ever done. That fight was ridiculously good. <laughs> that was an amazing fight. Like, oh my god. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. I've never had a fight that fast before. I never knew you can, like, completely finish it during the green, the green ball attack. I... Cause I just I normally fire two supers and then I just thought I just yoloed something in the middle of the fight right now. I was like, what if I fire a super first? Can I squeeze in three? And I went for it and then hap and then I finished it right there. I'm like, holy crap! Wow, that worked. Okay, so time to open up my checklist for cleanup. Okay, so cleanup in this game is really interesting in that it's very long, but it's also interesting because it's all about your power bomb management. So I have an entire spreadsheet open right now. Which pretty much tells me like how many power bombs do I need per area, and depending on how, how my power bomb management works and what kind of drops I get, the order of my, the area I do cleanup in, order of cleanup will be different every run I do. So this is comes down to like knowing on the fly when. Ooh, nice drop. How do I map out my cleanup routes to minimize refills, but still save time? And what I want to do early on is before my first refill, I want to get as many power bomb attacks as possible because that's how you get more power bombs out of your refill. So the first area I'm always going to go to is area five lower because that doesn't area doesn't require any power bombs at all, and I get an extra power bomb tank. So it's basically a free power bomb tank. Along with that, I also want to prioritize doing the right side of area three because I only need like two power bombs for that area to do it quickly, and you get two tanks from it as well. I think it's two things.
At four. I'm gonna be at three power bombs. So how oh, that can work. Three power bombs. Drop. Area five lower, then area three right. That's what I'm gonna do. Generally speaking, these two areas are the areas I'm gonna do first. Because they don't cost many power bombs to do, and you get three power bombs out of them. Right side. I'm gonna get a have a net gain of four net gain of one power bomb, I believe. No, actually I'm gonna be at the same four. Okay. Cheat pulls! For fun. For the fans! For the fans! Fans of no the fan aka no fans of cheat pulls. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ah, let me morph. That was so sloppy. That was really bad. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty nice little out of bounds here. It's, it's not really a sequence break, it's just a really nice shortcut to get back to this teleporter really quickly. Okay, area four. Area 6 upper. Area 6 upper is next. I need 3 power bombs for area 6 upper, but I also get another power bomb tank. So. Yeah, I need 3 power bombs. I'll get a tank. I'll have 2. Get up there. Three. I can use another one. I can use another one. Save like a half second there. And I need exactly one more, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't screw myself over. One more. I'll get one. I'll get a power bomb. And then I can go to area 6 lower, use that one problem, then get a refill. I got a power bomb drop. That's nice. Very nice, actually. Change of plans. Change of plans. I'm going to the surface. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, no. I'm low on a a I'm low on Aeon. I don't want to do Area Six lower yet because I need a bit of Aeon for that. So I'm going to do the surface first. Yeah, surface. 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 Surface, take a refill, get another power bomb tank. After the refill. Okay. If I get a drop early, then I can use another spider part to save like frames or something like that.
Come on, game, give me some drops. Yeah, this is a good call, because I get an Aeon refill here, which I need. Hopefully I get a drop from this plasma door. I did. Nice. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have an extra power bomb, so I'm gonna. This one I normally do, but there's another one I will use that saves like a third of a second. This one here, that one right there. It's barely faster, and then I'm gonna take the refill. Twelve. Okay, that looks like I want to do. Where do I want to go next? I'm gonna be at thirteen. I'm gonna be at 13, so. Area 4, no, area 2. Let's do area 2 next. I need 8 there, and I'll have 5 remaining. If I get a few drops, that'll give me more flexibility. Where I can go next. But if not, but if I don't get any drops at all, I can go to area 4 west, which I need 5 power bombs for. So that will work out. So area 2 is next. Ugh, so much thinking. While playing at while playing at the same time, you could use a power bomb there, but it's like barely any time saved. I don't really think it's worth it. when having fun planting bombs actually screwed me over because you can bomb jump down which is completely useless and stupid okay area two's next imagine it's finding a way to skip any of these baby items i got one baby item without the baby in area five you can get out of bounds but i mean it's not even that much of it's not that significant all right supers This is one of my favorite part, parts of the run. Area 2 cleanup is one of my favorites. That's too low. Yeah, that was too low. That's how it should work. It's. I mean, it sucks that's how it is, but like... That's how it should work. I feel like. You've learned your lesson from Metroid Fusion. Alright, you guys ready for this? You ready for this? Are you ready for the best hole in one ever? This really is not a fusion like game, honestly. It really isn't. Hole in one! Round two. Hole in one! The double hole in one. It's real. I want face drift, Freddy. Aeon refill I don't need. Um, that's. Oh, God, I, I went too. I went too low. I went too low. I went one. Went too low. Power bomb drop, nice. That's very good. I don't, I don't know. The physics in this game, I don't really think the physics in this game are really comparable to any other 2D Metroid. They're just completely different, really. I'm not the biggest fan of comp making those kind of comparisons, to be honest. Power bomb drop, nice. Getting very lucky. Hopefully that's not too far. 
barely made it. Okay. Oh god, you need you need to DM that to me, memory. I want I want to take a look at that. Um... Fuck. I just lost a crap ton of time, because I accidentally jumped too high. I wasn't sure if I was too high or too low. That's actually very bad. I just lost a shit ton of time. Going to wrong... Because I thought I was low. I thought I was low, so I tried to jump higher, and then that just screwed me over. So I had to make a massive detour there. Crap. I can never do cleanup without a major stupid mistake like that. Uh, well. Oh well. I probably lost like 20, 30 seconds there. Dumb mistake. It's really, really stupid mistake. I have eight power bombs. Hopefully, I'll be at a nine. Nine. Okay. Good. I'm gonna be at eight. Area five at main area needs six. I'm gonna go to area five main next because I got a good chunk of drops. Yeah, that that was a really really bad mistake. I didn't know that was possible either. Kind of flustered. Area five main. I, I'm being harsh on myself. It's a 40 minute segment. I've got to do something stupid, so. Let's keep going. This is still a good run. This has one. That's probably one of the two biggest mistakes in the run. Oh well. Yeah, um, and memory, did you already, um, message it to me on Discord? I want to mess with it. It'll probably be useful, to be honest. Because that pass should be faster for both any percent and 100%. Should be sick. Although, it's still pretty darn risky, because you'd probably die if you mess it up, like, twice. So, I don't know. It's still cool, though. You can Spider Spark all the way to the left again, but it's really much more difficult because you have a ceiling over you. That's why you want to do it from it. It becomes way riskier. 
Oh shit, that's not good. We set a power bomb. I wasn't far left enough. That was really sloppy. I got flustered there. Be at three power bombs. I'm gonna go to area seven. Area seven and area eight each two. If I get a lucky draw from area seven, I can go to area eight immediately and then refill in area six lower. Oh no, I should've gone to area 1 to get an extra power bomb drop. Well, too late to worry about that now. You have to come to Area 7 for this single missile tank. If some if someone finds that out of bound, if there's a way to get that missile tank early, that would save a lot of a lot of time. And two power bombs. I got, I got a power bomb drop. No, yeah, I got a power bomb drop somewhere. Actually, no, I didn't. I, forgot, I need to use this one here. If I got a drop now, that would be very nice. If I got a drop now, that would be very nice. If I got a drop now, that would be very nice. Nope. Alright. No area eight. Area eight. No area eight for now. I'm gonna go to area six lower, because I need exactly one power bomb at the start. Okay. Oh, that worked out. I just forgot what to do there for a second. Perfect. And then skip getting out of this puzzle by just going, staying out of bounds and doing that. Refill. Okay. Area 8, next. Area 8. Area 6 is 100 percent it, same with Area 7. You don't need the baby for that, but it's helpful. There's like two upgrades you need the baby for though. One, right? One or two. Area 8. Sloppy. Be 
have 14 power bombs. Get a drop. Let's go to the area 5 corner. Actually, no, area 4 east, area 4 east. Area 4 east, I need exactly 5. And there's a door that will hopefully. Door I a spacer door I destroy, which hopefully will give me a drop. Wow, wow, fuck you. Wow, just wow. Thanks. Thanks, idiot. Stupid. Grab, get the grapple audio across from there, it's worth the grappling, because the grappling's faster than running, but I messed up. Power bomb drop. Nice missile tank. Nice missile tank game, I really like that. That positioning there is pretty tight. Ah, I'm not gonna take any on refill. Don't need it. Famous last words. But I don't need it because I'm gonna get a refill soon anyway, so I might as well take the slightly faster route. No, I was thinking of a different area in an area 4. It's fine though. Still don't really need the refill. Nine power bombs. Area 8. No, I already did area 8. Crap. Um. Area 3 lower. It's time to tackle the big one. Oh no, I could have done Area 4 West and then Area 3. Ah, whatever. Okay. Area 3 lower. I need either 7 power bombs to get to before I want a delayed refill or 14 power bombs in a row. Okay, I need 14 power bombs for a delayed refill. 
Seven power bombs for an early refill. Delay is better, but it's gonna do this now. Yes, Area 3 is very power bomb intensive. So area 3 is probably one of the coolest areas in cleanup, really. And I just saved about a minute because my PB didn't have enough Aeon for that, so I had to backtrack for that, and I lost a minute. So, yeah. <laughs> dumb mistakes. But then again, this run also has a very dumb mistake with failed out of bounds in Area 2, so, yeah. This run's also not that great, all things considered. But, eh, that's life. You can't get out. Of, you can't clip through the walls here, by the way, with the same phase clip, but it's not useful, unfortunately. Made it before the bomb block respawned. Nice. I'm gonna have two extra power bombs, so I might as well use one now. Hopefully this gives me a power bomb. I did get a drop there, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have used that. Uh, it hasn't been decided. It's gonna be iffy. My personal thought on RT versus in game time is... If, is... We, we either allow NTR, but and use and only use in game time. Or we only use real time. We probably use real time, but we have to ban our NTR or limit them. Because NTR saves a lot of real time from loading. That's my opinion on that. It's. I mean, there's no. You know, neither is a really perfect solution. Although, really, I prefer just to go by in game time, anyways, because at a top level, which is what matters for leaderboards, people shouldn't be dying or having to reload checkpoints. So. That's my opinion on that, though. Yeah, like, I, th I think in-game time would just be better. It also means, like, if you use in-game time, people with, like, a normal 3DS can compete. So, like, if, you, if you're trying to be, like, well, you should use real-time to make it more accessible so people that suck at the game can finish the game. In-game time is technically better because you make the game more accessible with respect to hardware. And accessibility to hardware is much more important than accessibility to skill, in my opinion. Maybe that sounds pretty elitist of me, but I just think leaderboards should should ne never like ne never prioritize catering to people that, for lack of a better words, suck. I want this now. Okay. But that's just kind of my opinion on that, though. Cause like if we want to, if we say real, use real time for accessibility, that's just bullshit. Cause real time makes it so hardware it can't, certain hardware it can't compete. So like the only real downside, as far as we know, thinking is that it requires single segment runs, aka no reloading and no deaths. But like if you're sp actively speedrunning the game, you generally won't be dying anyways. So. That's just me, though.
Oh, whoops. Ah, waste of firebomb. Too low. I don't know if it it's it's not frame rate, it's just loading, really. The game does load faster with NTR. But I forgot who, but someone confirmed that. It loads significantly faster without NTR with, with NTR than without it. And if you go by real time, you're counting those loads. In game time does not count those loads. Okay, um, area five corner. Yeah, because like after after looking up NTR and playing the game more, like at first I was like 50-50 between RT and in game time, but after putting more thought into it, I'm just like, yeah, no, like we really should not be going by real time, to be honest. I, no IMO, like, it just is bad. I can't be saying I'm using real time splits. But. Hey, actually, don't forget this power bomb tank this time. I was supposed to power do spider spark there. Oh well, not the end of the world. Don't need to refill yet. Actually, not good. Nice unmorph extend on accident. That worked out. Okay, um. Area 1. Let's do Area 1. Use JRTA timing for every game. Ah, come on, go down. Oops. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna make it before it respawns. Sonic Colors credits are ridiculously long. To be honest, SDA timing works pretty well for some games, to be honest. Like for example, Metroid Prime, if Metroid Prime went by real time, it would be much better to go by SDA timing, aka start from control of character. So like, that, 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 that SDA timing actually makes sense for a lot of method games. It's more annoying to start the timer, but like that's not really what should matter. So.
Yeah, spider sparking is really fun in this game. Super is equipped. I actually forgot one one. I actually forgot an expansion area too. I mean, it's not. I'm not, not really gonna lose time except one as one second from extra menuing. This is when I was exiting area two. I was supposed to visit another teleporter for one upgrade, but I forgot to do that. But it's not a big deal really, so it's fine. I just realized I can spider spark there. I can spider spark there. I don't know if it's worth it, but I, I need to look into that. I can totally spider spark through that little tunnel. But it's not a bad thing, because I, I know I have way more power bombs than I need, so I can just use one to save like a half second anyways. It's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. I only need this area left, so I'm not missing anything. Area 4 west, and then surface, and we're done. I dropped about 1,000 frames just now, but it seems like it was just a one-time thing, fortunately. Yeah, it was just a one-time thing. This is why you local record. Thank you, memory. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I just forgot what I was supposed to do. That was really sloppy. Five point seven. I could have saved a lot more time. The mistake out of bounds mistaken area took cost me a lot of real time a lot of time, period. Which sucks. Oh well.
And that's 100%. This, this fight is a complete joke in 100%. Don't counter. You don't want to counter this. You're supposed to die right there. Countering is slow significantly slower on the last hit. I actually got a 238 of real time. <laughs> G freaking G. That split was technically a little late. Well, this run has a lot of good stuff in it. There's a good chunk of bad stuff in it. Most notably, the really bad Omega fight in Area 6 and the mistake with Out of Bounds I made in cleanup, which probably costs up to almost a minute right there, to be honest. But this is actually, this is still a pretty good time. I'm not happy with the time, but it's not, it's definitely a pretty good improvement. This is kind of at the point where it's like, I, should I move on to any percent, or maybe I'll stick with 100% for now? This is this is actually a pretty. I think this is a reasonable representation of the route so far and the strats I have. So, yeah. Let's check out the in-game time. This is a single segment as well, so the in-game time is valid. Two sixteen oh three. 